What up, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Whew. You already know what I gotta do, guys. Just give me a minute here. All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Chance, and I just want to say that things on Facebook are going to be changing in a very big way for me. Uh, you guys are probably wondering why or how things are going to change. Well, for me, at least, you know, they are going to, I'm going to make some very big changes. Um... Like, you know, like a lot of the cussing and, you know, a lot of the dumb stuff I used to do, I'm not going to be doing as much anymore because just recently my old or my former teacher, Mr. Smith, who is literally like, he's been like a father to me since I was a little kid. Um... His wife just recently added me on Facebook. He, however, does not. But with that being said, you know, like, there are going to be some very big changes, like a lot of the cussing, a lot of the swearing, you know, stuff that I usually, you guys would see me do, like, you know, in general, like, I'm always saving that type of stuff for, like, when I'm, on stage or doing a live online performance like when i'm doing like my shows on one dub and stuff like that and doing like a live venue that's one thing but when i'm doing stuff like this right here or posting on my timeline like a lot of that stuff i used to do i'm cutting that out and for good reason because you know not only are him and his wife gonna be you know keeping an eye on it even though they don't see it they will be keeping an eye out but also because you know i definitely do want to be more professional and more proficient in what i do so you know like a lot of the dumb stuff you know you guys like know that i do i'm gonna be cutting a lot of that out um, you won't see as much swearing type stuff on my timeline just for the fact that, you know, like, I want to keep it clean that way. I don't lose contact with these guys, you know, like, they're incredible. I grew up with them. I mean, they're very supportive, but they are also very Christian. Like, they're not jumping down your throat Christian, but... You know, they will say something if they feel it isn't right. Like, if they feel like I'm doing something wrong or doing something stupid, they will say, hey, you know, you don't need to be doing that. And so, you know, like, they're really, they're really nice guys. They're really, you know, a good family, you know, a good, you know, group of people. You know, I love them to death. I grew up with them as, you know, I grew up with Mr. Smith, obviously, as one of my teachers as a kid back at Roosevelt Academy. Um, you know, like, you know, like I said, he's literally been like a father figure to me since I was a kid. 
So, you know, I really am trying to, you know, make this change, you know, for him and for you guys too, because I know a lot of you are wondering why I'm not as professional as I could be. Well, now I have a pretty damn good reason to change things up. Vote in the comments what you guys are up to, man. I'm just sitting here drinking on some nice hot coffee, avoiding this cold weather, chilling out. Now, we'll be going live on Facebook, or not Facebook, but on YouTube in a little bit as well, where you guys can come in, you know, ask some questions. I'll be doing a Q&A on there. Um, you guys can come in, hang out, you know, have a good time and have some fun. And I might even perform on there. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided whether I'm going to do a live show on there or not. But for those of you that do watch my gaming channel on YouTube, I will be doing a live stream of some games live. Not off of here in particular, but off of um, the Google Play Store. And I might do some off here. I don't know. I might do Drift Hunters. I might not. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But I will be live streaming some gameplay footage onto there, which I'm definitely excited for. And I am going to do a live stream of me putting together some beats and how I create my music for you guys. I will be live streaming that so you guys can kind of, you know, get an idea of where I stand musically and because I know a lot of you are wondering, you know, how I do what I do. So, you know, I will be showing you guys just the basic process of what I do as well as, you know, the recording process, how I go through recording. I will be showing you guys all that. That way you guys, if you are interested in music, you guys know where to go, what to do, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, things are about to, you know, change in a very big way as far as, you know, attitude. You know, as far as like the some of the stuff I say, that's going to be changing a lot, so... Like, I know it might seem boring, and I do apologize if it is, but, you know, I hope you guys understand that I'm doing this for a legitimate reason. Like, I know I don't need to impress anybody or anything like that. I get that. But, you know, this is somebody that's been a part of my life since I was a kid that I just recently got in con back in contact. Oh, pardon me. But, as I was saying, this is somebody that I've... You know, just recently, you know, got back in contact with after so long. And, like, I'm really trying to keep a good, you know, solid relationship going and all of that good stuff. So, you know, it's kind of needed. But with that being said, guys, I love every single one of you. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Um... Like I said, I will be doing a live stream on YouTube here in just a few minutes. So if you guys are subscribed to Bloodshot Records on YouTube, be sure to go over there and check it out. You know, and if you haven't subbed yet, definitely do it. Hit that sub button. As a matter of fact, I will be posting the link to my latest, actually a tribute video. That took me like all day yesterday to do. So I will be posting the link to that. You know, on my timeline. You know, all that good stuff. So with that being said, guys, this is your boy Virus. Love you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe in this cold weather. Hope you guys are, you know, staying indoors and, you know, being safe and avoiding this cold weather, man, because the cold weather here is, like, brutal. Like, it is really freaking nasty here. But, 
like I said, you know, I hope you guys are staying safe wherever you're at. And I do hope you guys had a good Christmas. I know I did. Um, I definitely hope you guys, you know, if you guys are going to go out on New Year's, you know, just be safe, be responsible, and just don't do anything stupid. Like, you know, try to be smart and not get yourself hurt or killed. Because, you know, that's the last thing I need is to have, you know, a message from one of my friends saying that one of you guys is in the hospital or one of you guys, you know, got into a car accident or is dead. Like, I don't need that. So please, for the love of God, on New Year's Eve, if you are going to go out, be responsible. And if you are going to drink, have a designated driver with you. And don't think that just because you're drunk that you can drive. Because trust me, you can't drive when you're drunk. You will get hurt. And the reason why I say that is why I'm saying that is because I do know a lot of you guys who are younger are going to try to do that. So I'm telling you guys firsthand from experience myself, from having friends and family be like that. I'm telling you, if you are going to drink, do it responsibly. You know, don't do anything reckless and stupid like trying to drive home when you're drunk because it'll end up with you being dead or you ending up behind bars in jail and you don't need either one of them. Well, with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Virus. Love you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and having a good day and or night wherever you're at. And I will see you guys over on YouTube, man. Peace.